Hello kitu designers and welcome to this story. My name is Peter. Hello to this story. We just going to see how we can build uh to hide this art card button. We just you just going to use a simple PHP code. We just we are not going to set up plugin or what. We just going to do it in a very simple way. This is how this is what will happen once the customer login and they have purchased this the product before. You have the notice that tells them to lead more. Once once they open the product, we don't have the add cart button. They have this notice you already bought this product. So you get that you just get that notice. What if the customer adds the product before they log in? We're just going to go out and see how it's gonna it's gonna work and you're just gonna get the answer in this tutorial. That's the tutorial for today. Without further ado, let's just get introduction and I show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to head over to the dashboard and on on scroll to the dashboard menu, we have this now button for plugins, hofa, and we just need to add a plugin that we facilitate for us to be able to add the code so easily. So once you just here, search for code snippet. Here we have it, it's from Code Snippet Pro, 700,000 active installation, last updated just a week ago. So we install the plugin. Once the plugin has been uh, installed, we just need to activate the plugin. So here we have it, we have already installed the plugin. All we just need to do is select here, we just need to add the snippet all over on the dashboard menu. We have now the button for snippets, select add new, to just slide to this page. So here we just need to update uh, to add new. We just need to name it. So I say remove add to cart. Let me just give it a name. So here I have named it uh, remove add to cart for all the purchased product. Here, all I just need to do is I just paste the code. I have already the code. I will put the link on the description on where you can get this code. And after that, I just need to learn the snippet over here and I just save the change and activate. So we just start, we have just been able to add our code. So simple. So I open the page on our, our private page. So here we have it. And let me just try to just log in and see uh, the customer. Let me just close one, this one here. And I also go to WooCommerce and uh, yeah, all that's here. And I try to see if there's an appending order here. So here we have it. It's from this product here. So this one here. So we just need to add it to the cart. You just see you have the add to cart button. So I add two. And I head over and I add more products here. I add like four products. Ah, uh, with that now we have the products are available. You can see the one you just want to remove at cut is here. So the one we called customer already uh already purchased was this one. So once we try to log in, let's uh, let's try to log in and see how it's gonna work. So you see now they have the, like once the customer logged in, the product was removed automatically and they have this error that says uh, the product name has been removed from the card because it's no longer, uh, it, it can no longer be purchased. Please contact us for assistance. That's how it's going to work. Like customer note, it has been removed from the card automatically. What if we try to search it from here? Let me try to search it from this here, here. Here we have it. But you see now we don't have the add card button. It ha only have this. It's uh, the notice that say you already bought this pro. You already bought this product. That's how you can be able to hide the add to card. This mostly will be applicable uh, for the digital product. It's going to work well. That's how you can be able to hide add to card, uh, add to card button or already purchased product without installing any single plugin except the one you have just been able to use so that you can be able to add the code so easily hope you did learn something out of this story if you did learn something out of this story hit the thumbs up remember to subscribe to this youtube channel if you're new here till next time thank you